Yeah. Yeah. No, I just keep flushing, I just keep flushing it. You have to see Hang on, Charlie, hang on, hang on. Yeah, there is a lock on mine. They're trying for another, they haven't. Yeah, not yet, no. She's just going to hang on a little bit because her sister's getting married in June and she's bridesmaid. Then she's coming up. So we're going to the bridesmaid's done. You don't have the video. Oh, I was going to have another video. I remember she, I remember saying, oh, she's got some. And then when I saw her on Instagram, sort of do you, know, do you know the only thing I can actually remember about it? If I'm right, the fireplace had like a gold card. Metal thing there. Yeah, I'm not trying to 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 I'
right as we should. Look back and thank God. It's right that on this day of all days, there should be tears and laughter. <coughs> Talk about her as you have done. And pray for her. And that's what we do now. Heavenly Father, you have called your daughter, Matt, from this life. Through the merits of Jesus, through his cross and resurrection, give her eternal life. Forgive whatever sins she committed through human frailty, and bring her to that place that Christ has prepared for her in your kingdom. And grant that when you call us home, we may meet all melody in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we're going to listen to the first reading from the Bible. This reading from St. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians. You can see in your order of service that the summary given at the top is, we shall stay with the Lord forever. And that is our prayer for all that. Just as the Easter candle stands beside our coffin, that Easter candle reminding us that Christ is risen from the dead. So we pray, Lord, may she be with you this day. Let's listen to the word of God. The one you invite to brothers, about those who have died, to make sure you do not grieve about them, like the other people of the power of God. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and it will be the same for those who are dying with Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are living now are in the life of the Lord. St. Paul doesn't say that we should, shouldn't grieve. Of course we do when something goes to us like this. But we have God, thanks to Jesus, who has opened the gates of paradise for us. He walked this earth. He lived our life. He died bodily death, so that we might share his life. Our next hymn is Jerusalem, that vision of my rural blade of what England might be, what England is. The Son of God walked this earth, but he did it so that we might be with him forever. Let's stand, let's sing to the sun.
and I shall praise him up on the last day. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. The Gospel. Jesus said to the crowd, If you didn't 
Bring out who in baptism became your child to the joy and glory and life of heaven. Lord, in your mercy. Bring past who fed on the, the Holy Eucharist to the banquet of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Look kindly on our world. Give peace where there is war. Give food where there is famine. Give hope where there is despair. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let's sum up all our prayers with the Lord's prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now, I ask you to sit down. For the sake of the Lord, and the Lord. Hey. 
Alternatively, we will meet you at the crematorium for the service at 1 o'clock. Thank you very much. We'll start making your way to your vehicles for me, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Family members for the limousines, please step forward for me, Almighty and ever-living God, remember the love with which you graced your servant Pat in life. Receive her into the mansions of the saints. Look with favour on those who mourn and comfort them in their loss. Grant this through Christ our Lord. And again, I will sprinkle the coffin with holy water. And I invite you to come out of the and also sprinkle the coffin with me. Would you do it, please? Yes, please. Because God has chosen to call our sister Pat from this life to himself, we commit her body to be cremated, for we are dust, 
and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let's commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise her body on the last day. Please stand. I think this song, Lost Without Your Love, is a great statement. And while we listen to it, the body will go from our, the coffin will go from our eyes, go from our sight. But she continues to love you, and you continue to love her. of the sorrowful, you are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant to her, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This funeral is over. Let's go in peace.
to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. If I said you have a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? If I swore you were an angel, would you treat me like the devil tonight? If I was dying of thirst, would you blow in love down my streets? If I said you have a beautiful body, would you hold it against me?